Okay, so I've been doing vlogs all night, um, and I have a vlogging bug. I don't know, it's crazy. I, I just, it's like it's, sometimes I can't stop, you know. I just, I really like to get my ideas out there and share my life, share my experience. And uh, throughout my life, uh, what has been a big part of my life is religion. Um, now, to be honest, I stopped going to church uh, when I was around 22 um, and I, I did it for one reason because I kinda came to the realization that organized religion has become jaded uh, it's always the same thing it's always about money it's always about groups of people it's always about uh, having to be who they want you to be and judging you for it now in some defenses though there's not a there there, there are some churches that uh, are not like that there are some good churches don't get me wrong um, in fact coming coming from half of my family that is involved in church one way or another pastors pastors wives preachers kids um, you know, they, they run some good churches, but unfortunately it's, it's running rampant in this country and throughout the world that organized religion is just, I think, old century, to be honest. I think, I think in our modern times we're coming upon an enlightenment, another enlightenment period about uh, what religion can mean to people, to the individual. Um, and obviously religion gives people hope, um, or at least the key points of religion, uh, you know, God, um, potential heaven or whatever your belief may be. That's, you know, that's, that's what it is for me. Uh, I, I do believe that there is something watching over us and whatever it may be, I do from time to time when I catch myself praying, uh, refer to it. Uh, either as God or as, um, you know, just my, uh, my person I pray or thing or whatever it might be I pray to. Uh, it, it really does provide some deep down uh, grounding. Uh, you know, it really helps to solidify, I think, moral character. Uh, and that's you know that's one of the strengths of religion is that it does help build a pretty solid foundation for uh, being morally um, being morally just and morally correct, uh, if you want to put it that way. Um, depending on the religion, the, I mean there are religions that are obviously have very very um, excitable views. They try to shove it down your throat and uh, that's that's another thing that got me away from organized religion was that um, people were just too uppity they were too excitable they were too provocative and that's really what kept me out of church from 22 to now uh, I really haven't been back unless it's been for like a family event and um, you know that's that's just part of the problem is just the judgments that are passed and everything you know and just the feeling you get um, I remember you know I remember feeling awesome going to church I remember uh, feeling empowered even but after a while you start to really see things for the way they are with most churches again I say most churches there are some good churches out there but um, or mosques, or you know, whatever it might be. Um, I I could be wrong with saying that influences like this within churches uh, may pertain more to Christianity, because within the last three four hundred years, it has pretty much taken over the world. Um, rather it be Catholicism or you know, um, baptism, or you know, whatever whatever sect of religion. It may be, um, and you know, it just it gives you it gives you a bad feeling. But again, it, it does give you hope, and uh, I think I think that's one of the valid uh, arguments for keeping religion 
is that uh, it does it does uh, for the for the right person give them strength and uh, gives them something to lean on and uh, something to believe in uh, when there's nothing else uh, in the world that has latched on to their life and really given them hope you know and it, it's it's especially astounding how the poor community um, really takes the idea into their heart and just really runs with it. I mean, it's just very, very powerful. It's, it's a very, very powerful tool. And it's been used for both good and bad. Uh, obviously, the Crusades um, is uh, one good example of it. Uh, and... You know, it's just, it, it can be such a good influence or such a bad influence. It's scary. It, it is totally scary. And, um, you know, but I, as if I, if I think religion will be gone from the face of the earth within the next couple hundred years, I don't think so. Uh, but I think it will evolve into uh, something more, again, more enlightened. Uh, maybe take away some of the, um, uh, what's the, you know, maybe take away some of the glitz and glamour. Um, I mean, obviously fables are uh, a good learning tool when you're a kid. You know, you relate to the story, you see the points in it without realizing it, and you take it into your head. Um, but I think when you boil down religion, it gives you a good set of ethics to work with. And that is what really, uh, really helps the world turn around and keep a good solid foundation and uh, keep chaos at bay. Um, so, you know, there you have it. Uh, where religion will end up, I have no idea. Um, I do hope that there is one day a religion that can turn into something more than people judging other people or trying to kill other people or being totally jack crazy if you approach them in the wrong way here's hoping <laughs> uh you know thanks for watching like subscribe and comment and uh, i don't mean to provoke anybody just sharing my views thanks